Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I've actually stopped off at the Loch Leven uh, RSPB Nature Reserve uh, where I've actually parked a car, I think it's actually across the road from where the the, the actual loch it's, itself is so this is the first, I've actually passed the loch on a couple of occasions before uh, and there is actually the, the Loch Leven Castle is out on an island in the loch itself and that uh, is one of the castles where Mary Queen of Scots was held prisoner uh, before she fled to England. So is that unfortunately I think the castle is actually shut at the moment because of whatever everything that's going on just now. But hopefully at some point when that is reopened I will be able to come back and actually visit the castle itself. So yeah, uh, I think the, the visitor centre is just over by just that way, so I'm going to grab the things and head over in a minute. Uh, hopefully you will enjoy what you see in this video, and if you are enjoying my video, if you are enjoying my channel, if you can click on that subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page, in the description bar below and then a pinned comment in the comment section. So I'm just going to grab a bag head on, and head on out. Now these buildings over here are usually used as the visitor centre but they're actually doing a lot of restoration and improvement work which will hopefully just kind of make the whole experience even better. So we get lap wings, bees, whooping swan, swans and pink-footed geese and red squirrels. So if you want, want to do that, you do get your chance. So I think if I head up this way. It is really peaceful here. Yeah, that's Loch Leven down there. You can't see the castle from here. But apparently Loch Leven is one of the largest of the, long, of the lowland lochs. And it's probably more it is probably most famous for its connection to Mary Queen of Scots. Yeah, so if you're in the area as well, there is another nature reserve called Loch Arm Meadows. So Loch Leven's up there and the Loch Arm Meadows is probably, I think, only a few miles away. So if you are in the area, definitely plenty to come and explore. So I'm going to kind of get like you get that bit as well. So, I'm going to try and explore some of the paths.
Yeah, it's just really nice with coming to some woodlands. It's just right now because it is still really warm and really sunny. And uh, yeah, as so even though I knew about Loch Leven and Loch Leven Castle, I hadn't realised that the RSPP had a nature reserve here as well. And I can see it's definitely a wee hidden gem. And it's, even in the short time I've been here, I've, I've seen quite a lot of wildlife already. I've seen a lot of like, bees, yeah, crickets, seen butterflies. I'm sure I've seen a buzzard as well. So I've definitely plenty of wildlife here. And definitely a really beautiful little place to come and explore. Especially if you are into uh, wildlife spotting. Well, all I can say is if you're wanting a good cardio workout, uh, the Loch Leven RSPB Nature Reserve. Definitely put the place for you. We'll just climbed up those steps there. And something tells me I'm not even halfway up. So, at least this bit is going to be in the woodland and in the shade. So, yeah. If you're wanting a nature reserve where you can get a lot, a lot of cardio exercise, Definitely the place for you. Yeah, I've just kind of came around what is essentially the back of the RSPB shop. That's what they're doing up just now. And there's this underpass that goes under the road. I fly my arm there. So, what actually takes you under the road and down to the loch. So I might kind of have a wee little wander down there and see if I can get right down to the shoreline and let you get a closer look at the loch itself. So you can actually walk through the Loch Horn Meadows from here. It's for the Sleeping Giant Path. I think it takes you up on the hills. That's uh, Loch Leven there itself. So, the island that Loch Leven, that Loch Leven Castle is on is up at the other end of the, the loch itself just across the water from Kinross and the nature reserve is down the south end of the, the loch itself and there's a wee kind of priory on Surf's Island which is the nearest island to where I am Yeah, that's me back from my wander around the Loch Leven uh, RSPB Nature Reserve and it is a beautiful place to come and wander. There's, there's so much to see. You've got the, the walks up in the woodland, up the hillside, down along the loch. You can pretty much walk the entire length of the entire, the entire loch really, uh, like up to Kinross, back down. So there's definitely plenty to see if you are out wanting to explore uh, Scottish nature, Scottish wildlife, that's a, definitely a, a brilliant, amazing place to come. And when I was walking back, uh, I'd actually uh, saw a hare and two red squirrels. And I, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get my camera out in time to, to actually get any footage. But... There are, there are hares and red squirrels here as well. So if you're wanting to see some some things like that, definitely, this is definitely the place to come. So hopefully you will all have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you will all be intrigued by this nature reserve. 
and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.